Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be explaining my Python code that I've used to create in, in for a cricket. So what I've done is I've created code. It's taken me about a week to create this, to get everything right the way I wanted it. So I'm just going to explain it in this video. So what I've done is I've created a code that when it's ran, there'll be two teams, team A and team B. Team A may bat or bowl first, and say if Team A bats first, they will have one over to make as many runs as they can, and then Team B will bat, and they will have um, one over to chase those amount of runs or make more. And yeah, that's basically what the code is about, and I'm just going to be uh, explaining what all the code is. There's nothing too hard in here. It's all the code we've done before. It's just I want to show that how I've put it together and how different types of codes can work differently together. So I'll run this code once so you guys can see how it works. So run cricket. So over one and we're going to team A will be batting first. So team B is bowling. So we just have to click the enter button to bowl. So it's currently the scoreboard is one because there was one run in that ball and then there was uh, three runs in the next ball so the total is four and then there was one run in the third ball then there was f zero runs in the fourth ball zero runs in the fifth ball and one run in the sixth ball so that was a pretty good over no, not too many runs and now over two press enter to ball so it's going to be um and yeah, that's basically how the game will go. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So we'll start it off by saying, uh, defining our, our action. So we want to define the function play ball, which is just telling us to um, how many runs will go on each ball. So they can either be one, zero runs, one run, two runs, three runs, four runs, or six runs. So... Uh, it's going to randomly ch choose one of these runs and as, and put it into the how many runs the batting team scored. So in the in the game, so the cricket game, there will be overs and there will be a target and there will be the scoreboard. So the overs will be one over. The target will start off as zero and then it will increase every time. And the scoreboard will just say team A start off with zero runs, team B start off with zero runs, and then as the game goes on, more runs will add. And now we're going to define another function inside of this, right? Remember, if we keep it outside, it will not work. Always remember to keep it inside. So define, and then we'll display the score. So just show, we're just going to be showing the score every, like every ball, you know how it showed the score. That's basically what we'll be doing. So we're going to be printing it, and then we'll just do current scoreboard and then do team A's scoreboard and then scoreboard and then we'll just type in the scoreboard of team A which will be how many how many ever runs and then the same thing will happen with team B and then we're just going to um, print welcome to simple cricket game and that, that's what the user will see first it will see welcome to simple cricket game so this is all behind the screens kind of work in the beginning and this is the first like line that the, the user is actually going to see print welcome to the simple cricket game now for team in team a and team b so like i said there are two teams sorry if i do sneeze guys i have a bit of a cold so uh it says whichever team is batting will bat and uh target is scoreboard team a plus one if team equals team b else zero so this may seem like a bit of a complicated line right here. So let me break it down slowly. So it's basically saying the target on the scoreboard. So whatever score the target is equal to, so whatever score team A makes, and then add one, because if, say team A, team A makes eight, add one to that nine, that's how much team B needs to make. If team B is equal to that, else zero. So if it either makes that or doesn't make it, is basically what I'm saying. Oops, that was an accident. Let me just undo that. And then, um, for overs in range, so every over that goes past, we'll add one more over to it. So we'll just say, for over in range, but there's only one over here, but if I say I was to do two overs, I could be like, so print 
are over one so it would say over one and then after over one is complete instead of saying over one again it was over plus one but since i'm only doing one over i don't need to worry about that and for ball in range there will be six balls in one over so just simple cricket rooms uh, rules assuming that there are no, no balls or wides um so we're just going to input so press enter to bowl every time the user presses enter one ball will happen and the run scored is equal to the amount of play to equal to play ball so the run scored will also be like one of these over here and then we're going to be printing ball ball plus one run scored runs so that's just saying every ball that's ball so we'll just do that that ball plus one more ball and then next to it they'll just type in the amount of run scored so far and then the scoreboard so the team so that's just updating the scoreboard over, like we've mentioned over here and then it's just going to display the score so over here it says display instead we're just going to print so the so the main characteristic or code i've used in this is functions now functions is a very important piece of code that if you want to do more in-depth coding or more complicated coding that uses more of like more lines functions will be very helpful they will save you so much time it is unreal so always remember to use functions if you guys do want i can create a separate video on functions keep remember to keep that in the comments below though and then if the team is equal to team b and the scoreboard is bigger than the target print that team win the game if not then just say the match is instead of draw you could say the match uh, uh we could just say instead of that we can just say team b didn't couldn't reach the target or instead of that you could just say team b couldn't win And then we'll end it off there. So again, if I were like as you saw one over, say I was to do two overs. Let's see how that would work. Rerun this and then check it. So enter the ball. That's six runs to the first ball, so he's hit a boundary. Four runs to the next ball, so ten runs and two balls. Another four runs, 14 runs and three balls. One run, 15 runs in one ball. Uh, sorry, five balls. And 18 runs in one over. So that's the current scoreboard. And this is over number two, as you can say. As you can see, the current scoreboard is 21 runs. Ball six was three runs. And over two has started. And we'll just click enter. So they've hit another four in the ball one of over two, 25, and then they've hit one run, they've hit zero runs, two runs, three runs, zero runs, and that's it. So that's team A finished batting, they made 31 runs, and team B now needs 32 runs to win. So press enter the ball, so that's one run of the first ball. Then they hit a six, seven runs, then zero runs, then they hit another six, 13 runs, they hit three runs, 16. So, so far, and then they hit a four, so 20 runs. So, so far, Team B is on track to win, but yeah, let's see who wins the game. I got my bet on Team B. So, 23 runs, so they hit three runs in that ball, they hit a six in that ball. Now, they just need three runs to win, and that's it. They've hit the four, and Team B won the game. So as you can see, very interesting game there, fun game. Uh, you play this with your friends. You can do. Uh, you can see who wins the game, and you can keep, you can do this forever, guys. If you're bored, you can just run this. You can make modifications to the code. Um, you can really do countless things. And yeah, if you guys like the video, remember to click the like button, click the notification button to never miss out on one of my videos, and always remember to subscribe as it does help me a lot, guys. And yeah, if you have any doubts, clarifications, or further video ideas, leave them in the comments below. Until next time, this is Sidhu signing off.